Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Keep It Positive, sweetie. Today we are talking about, and this is a sensitive subject to some people, body count. That's right. And when I think about body count, I think of the song is by Adina Howard, and it goes, um, I want a freak in the morning, a freak in the evening. Remember that? Just like me. I need a rough nut brother that can satisfy me just for me. If you are that kind of man, then I'm that kind of girl. I got a freaky secret everybody's saying, because we don't give a damn about a thing. Whoa! It was a, we don't give a damn about a thing. Did y'all hear the homies up? <laughs> so good. And today I have with me one of my favorite people, Aww. somebody that I get the pleasure to work with. I have always admired your work ethic, your skills, and I'm just so happy to see where your career is taking you. The incredible Jasmine Brown, AKA Watch Jazzy, <laughs> which is millions of you know her as, Toya Turnup, and who I recently have known her as, Deja, my arch nemesis on the team. Oh my God. Yes. My cheeks hurt. My <laughs> cheeks hurt from smiling. Thank That's you. how I feel when I'm working with you, because I'm like, Girl. she keeps me laughing, y'all. <laughs> no, we, no, we really do. No, literally. I can't get through a scene, and Tyler gets so mad, he's like, Crystal, focus. Because you what? know we only doing it in one take. One take, and with, uh, with me and you, it's about five. And I'm like, Deja, I'm like, <laughs> I, mean, I, know. Deja, I can't even get it out of like before I start walking up to you I'm like do not laugh because you are so funny thank you I'm so proud of you thank you I'm yes. so proud of you you're my idol you always I, posted, I know I posted a reel uh -huh. and there was like a clip of me talking to someone and I'm like she's my idol you can like read my lips I'm like she's my Aww. idol yeah you really are I'll be looking I'm like how's Crystal gonna stun on my life today <laughs> and I'm just eating it up I'm like yes I love because you. you just you're doing it yourself yeah well you I mean now I have a lot of amazing people behind me I do oh I'm sure yeah. however when I say you're doing it by yourself you're not attached to like a mm. person oh I got you got you yeah. you know what I mean mm -hmm. like some people like they get their claim to fame by this person or yes. whatever but it's like mm -hmm. it's just you baby yeah. it's just you God. yes you God and God did it. God did <laughs> God did yeah yes um, so today we are talking about body count, which is a very controversial topic that Girl. comes up in dating. Um, when have you ever had a guy ask you like, so how, how many people have you had sex with? Yeah, I get it all the time. Yeah, and I feel like after a certain age, it's like, nigga, like, don't ask don't me, ask me <laughs> because you still gonna hit it. You act like you act like it's gonna change your mind. <laughs> you, it, I feel like for men, the yeah. ones that ask, mm -hmm. they ask to see what category they're gonna put you in. Yes. So if you only slept with under five, which mm -hmm. I don't know nobody, I don't know none of y'all who, who got under five bodies. Me neither. You know what I mean? <laughs> then they're like, oh yeah, she wifey material. Yeah. And then if you tell them twenty six, they're gonna be like, oh, oh. no, nah, I gotta write that off, or, yeah. or you know, I'm just gonna hit it, or, mm -hmm. or they might think you're easy, yeah, or whatever. But it's like, grow up. Please grow up. Because every yeah. New Year's Eve, the miles reset. That's how I feel. What did they say? My heart is deleted. My heart is deleted. It's deleted. Yeah, 2023, baby. I had sex with one man. I, no, no, that's right. <laughs> that is right. Listen, reset. Reset. <laughs> that's <Stop>. good. <laughs> Listen, okay, the resolutions are not the only thing resetting on January 1. Hello, don't play with me. <laughs> I love it. Do you feel like um, sometimes men are, um, when they ask the body count, is that our insecurity? Are they picky? Because I know some men, even there are some men that have um, been insecure about the men I've dated, mm. you know, and I'm, I'm, I like to be honest about it because some of those relationships are with public figures and I don't want to, it to come up and be like, well, you never told me about this, mm. but I've had relationships that didn't work because they couldn't stand like watching TV and seeing yeah. my ex on TV. That's their problem. It is, I mean, like, I think a lot of men are insecure. And mm -hmm. who I dealt with before you is before you. Before you. I and mean, if you. I'm, and if I'm telling you, hey, listen, this is the person that, this is I used to deal with them just so you know if I ever see this person out, yeah. you have the heads up. Yeah, you I have the that. one up. Mm -hmm. Instead of being like, oh, yeah, by the way, in the moment, then that's, that's messed up. Yes, but you're like, embarrassed. I'm not, this is the thing. I'm not with them anymore. Exactly. Before you. Right. It ain't like we, but you know, in some situations, it'd be, it could be a baby daddy, though. Now that, where it's like, they're going to be around. Listen, that's different. Yeah. But you and I don't have any kids, so we that, that don't yeah, apply to us. It doesn't matter, you know? yeah. But a lot of guys, I mean, especially, I can imagine, like, mm -hmm. the type of men that you yeah. attract mm -hmm. is enough to make anybody <laughs> insecure. Any, yeah. You no. better have your boots strapped on tight. And you, better have, you better be a confident person because... 
you are a catch. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? No, it's real though. Because I've definitely had men like that. They either insecure about that. They um, asked me and I, you know what I'm saying? You know how like someone would be like, uh, three, it was like a number. And like, if she say she only has six or four people, you know she lying. There was like a meme that I saw that said that. Girl. But um, like you said, they still gonna hit it. Like exactly. they still gonna, it probably falls in love. You know? I saw, I saw, um, who was it? Who wrote a book? I don't want to, I don't want to give them press, mm -hmm. but I remember someone wrote a, I, somebody wrote a book and they were talking about the 11 guys that they had sex with, mm -hmm. that had sex with. And I was talking to my best friend and she was like, I ain't even taking advice from a chick that only had sex with 11. <laughs> she said 11. She said, grow up, grow up. She said, I'm not even taking advice. That's... She said, I'm not reading that book. No. There's nothing in there for me. Exactly. When she's like, call me when <laughs> for a trip. I was crying, but I was just like, girl, you body count is just, for like, what are we doing? Yeah, and I feel like for women, we don't care. Like, we want somebody that's been experienced. And you would hope that like a man would want that too, so they could they like, okay, please. You know what I'm saying? You I, learn some things. I think it's the opposite. Like it men, is. if they see if a girl has a low number, they're like, oh yeah, then I can teach her some things. I can yeah. do this and that. Mm -hmm. But if I run into a dude with a low number, oh baby, spin the block. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spin the block and come back. Come back when you learn some things. Yeah, because I'm not no, I'm. I'm not a good teacher. Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm not. Are you not? You need it to come. It is hard to you tell need to come with all the do stuff it like already. this. Cause yeah, I've had somebody like, we're gonna get personal, like go down and like it felt like they were biting me. Ooh, girl. Like, I'm like, I had somebody gnaw at me down there. <laughs> they ate it with no tongue. I said, you know what? Get up. <laughs> get up! Like it is hard to like tell somebody, no, this is how you need to do it. Yeah. I need you to go gnaw on some other people and we'll figure it out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Like yeah. seriously, so I do. I feel like there, it's like a pride thing, an ego yeah. thing for men, where they feel like you're more of a prize mm. when you haven't had sex with as many men. And for me, I feel like that doesn't define the prize. It does. Not. It does not define it. Like there's so many more components that come into making me the woman that I am. Mm -hmm. That's a gift to you and a blessing to you. Talk about it. Then you know what I'm saying what I've done in my bed. You know. Yes. That doesn't matter. It don't. Because at the end of the day, when you're with someone and you have a life partner, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might, might be having sex for a long time. Mm -hmm. But at some point, it's going to, yo's going to stop, his going to stop, yeah. and it's just going to be you guys. Yes. What do there's, you have after that? There's been people that I've had slept with that I do not enjoy their company. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you around here thinking that I'm not a catch. I don't want you anyway. Period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like the person that I'm with now, mm -hmm. like... We have all the things. You do. Like, I love. Thank you. Like, I love. You'd be up at six in the morning, baking, cu making cupcakes and pancakes. Five thirty, but. Uh, no, she'd be up. Around, in, in, somewhere around there. Yes, Thank you. Yes, yes. Like, Thank and you, you. I love the balance that you have. You still getting it. You are a go getter. You still Thank have you. your career. Um, but you are up, like, making yeah. breakfast, making everything. What, juicing. Oh, yeah. You be doing everything. Fresh, fresh. And still squeeze. twerking at the refrigerator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, the other people, they didn't get that side of me. Mm -hmm. So even though you might not be my first, mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. my first in this space. Yeah. We're like, I never was like this. And it's mm -hmm. not that I wasn't like that because yeah. I feel like, I feel like all women have that side to them. It's just a man has to bring it out of them. Mm -hmm. Like the right guy has to bring it out of them. Yeah. And if they want to be like that mm -hmm. or whatever, but I was never like that with none of the other ones. Yep. You it's always that one that'll bring like the what, wife out of you. Yeah, but I, I wanted to be, mm -hmm. but either they didn't really accept it. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. It just. It just didn't work. Because that's, that's a real thing. thing too. Too. It is. I, I dated a guy who had mommy issues, and I'm very yeah. nurturing. So mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, you are. I'm like, oh, let me pack your bag. Let me do this. And he's like, don't, don't touch my stuff. I can do it myself. And I'm just like, Whoa. okay, strong, independent black man who don't need no. <laughs> No woman. I was like, my bad, but I realized, like, I felt like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, where do I fit in? Yes, yeah, because he didn't need that for mm -hmm. me, and I'm like, well, dang, okay. I've had that too, you know. Yeah. And then, but I think that full circle moment, mm -hmm. the reason why we dated is because I really encouraged him to to mend that relationship with his mom. Wow. I was like, you got to talk to your mom. You mm -hmm. have to tell her how you feel. You have yeah. to, you have to express to her yeah. that like, you're not okay. Mm -hmm. And now you're, cause you're going to continue to take it out on the women that come into your life and try to be like, not your mom, but like as a partner mm -hmm. of, a, you know, when you're dating someone, you're kind of, you might have a little motherly similarities Absolutely. where you're like, I'm going to hold you accountable. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure you eat or just whatever yes. those things are can seem motherly to some people. Mm -hmm. But if you've never had that, 
it's foreign to you. You, you think that I'm it. just being extra. Yep. You know what I <laughs> like mean? Like you're doing too much. Yeah, <laughs> and it just didn't it just didn't work. But right. he rekindled his relationship with his mom, mm-hmm. and I'm happy that I was the reason for that. And then mm-hmm. like that's it. Yeah. But I didn't get to be how I am in my relationship now mm-hmm. with him. I I I was trying, but yes. it was like yeah, you know, that didn't, didn't work like that. It's funny because um, I was dating a guy and it was similar. And it seems like any guy, because I'm anybody who knows me knows that when I have a man, I'm a wife. Like I'm showing you what you're gonna get. Oh, girl, you're if, a wife to your friend. Oh, like <laughs> hello. <laughs> Thank you. But like I try to show them, like this is what you're gonna get. You mm-hmm. know, and um, a lot of them couldn't handle. It. They weren't in the space to recognize it. And when we break up, years will pass by, and they're like, she's the one that got away. Child, I'm so tired of that. And I'm like, I know. Like, I'm so proud of that. Like, grow up. Like, you was you just say I wasn't I wasn't, I wasn't man ready. enough. I wasn't ready. Would you okay. spin the block? No, I never spin the block <gasps> on those guys. No, because I'm like you had me and you didn't appreciate it. You show me who you are. I'm good. Yeah, no. Really? Mm-hmm. So you never had like your him? My him? Well, when I when I say like, I know hey, oh that's him. Mm-hmm. Like the first person that comes to mind. Yeah, it, somebody did come to mind, and it was like a five year off and on thing. Mm-hmm. So I did, so I did. Like he would show me that he wasn't ready, but he would come back in and out of my life for five years, and yeah. it, it was just like a maybe he's ready this time. You know, mm. maybe he's ready to receive what I have to give him yeah. and what I know I can offer. Yeah. But yeah, we're not. It's nothing now. <laughs> like at oh, all. where where you at? <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> What's wrong with you? And you know what's messed up? It's like guys like that will ruin it for the other ones too. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, I try not to do that though. I've tried because I'm such a giver. Same. I try not to allow the men who don't appreciate it um, ruin my heart or make me not mm. want to give the next one. Because I know I'm going to run to somebody that's like, oh, I got to lock this down. I cannot let this girl go. I got to lock this down. down. Do you understand me? What, what uh, qualities are you looking for to, for somebody? For me? Who um, would even be eligible <laughs> to lock it down? You know, um, I always say like someone that's God fearing, someone yeah. who um, puts God first. I always want somebody that knows that when they see me, they got to go to God to get to me. Ooh, yeah. What does that look like? It looks they like a praying pray man. Yeah, praying yeah. man, someone's in church. And their intention, you see it in their actions. Mm. Like you can tell like this guy's moving with intention when it comes to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And how he plans <gasps> which and, and how he leads, his integrity, how he treats people who can do nothing for him. <clears throat> it's so many different things. How he treats his mother. Oh my God. And yeah, those are things that just get my attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love all those things. Yes, yeah, those are things that turn me on. And also, intellect. Mm. Like, I'm really big on intellect. You can, to get here, you got to get me here. I always say that. Yeah, you're not getting in the panties if you can't get yes. in my head. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can get in my head too. But ah! that's a, <laughs> no, that's a real you thing. You know what I'm saying? Then, like, but you have to, like, I have to be mentally stimulated. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's funny because like, I think, I don't want to say a lot of women, but mm. this Gen Z group mm. of women that we have now, mm-hmm. it's very much like, I'm going to sleep with who I want. I'm going to do yeah. whatever I want. But it's like, you're not really being mentally stimulated. It's more like, oh, I like this guy. Mm-hmm. I'm going to screw him or, or do whatever, whatever mm-hmm. it is. But mm-hmm. it's like, and I feel like, I don't want to say I was that girl, but I used to be sexually free. Like, definitely yeah. lit, lit whole phase. Yeah. I, don't, can we talk about it? Because me too. I had a whole phase yes, in college. But listen, I had an amazing whole phase. Mm-hmm. But I remember when I was mentally stimulated mm-hmm. by someone that I never slept with. Yep. And I was just like, and I wrote a what poem. What is this? Yeah, I wrote a poem about it. Really? I didn't know how to express myself. Mm-hmm. I was like, we would talk for hours, super intellectual, mm-hmm. right? And we would spend all this time together. We would just sit in the car and we would just talk. But like... Mm-hmm. I was mentally stimulated, and I was like, "Wait, is he having sex with my mind right now?" Yes. Like, wait, and we never, we never had sex at the mm-hmm. time. You know what I mean? That's beautiful. So it's 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 crazy how like some people don't even experience that. Yeah, they don't. And when you can get both, it's, oh yeah, it's yeah, like I'm locking you down. How oh, that? hello. <laughs> Listen, um, I remember I was in college, and I think definitely I wasn't like fully mentally developed, even sexually developed. Mm-hmm. You know, like. I was my, I was raised in a strict home. Mm-hmm. Um, do not have sex. Yeah. Go to church. You know, like, and my mom always used to say to me, um, getting pregnant isn't the worst thing that can happen. Because that was yeah. me saying, like, AIDS and STDs, different STDs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. So I always had it in the back of my mind, but, like, they instilled the fear of God in me. So I was mm. always scared. And I got to college. I was at Shelter Little Girl, and she was free. <laughs> Baby, I was running <laughs> rampant on that campus. And... <laughs> I had a little boyfriend, and he was at another school in Nashville, which was like three hours away. 
and I ended up um, talking to the star basketball team, uh, the star of the basketball team, mm -hmm. and um, he all the girls wanted him, but I had him. Oh, and then period. I found out that he was screwing every girl on campus, and it broke my heart. And it was something in that moment where I was like, if you can do that, then I'm going to do it. Oh, I And see. I just like, I, and that was my, I feel like, sexually liberated phase mm -hmm. of my life where I was like, no, so I'm going to go talk to your friend mm -hmm. so you can see how it feels. And not knowing that every time I did that, I wasn't um, privy to the soul ties, the yeah, damage that I was doing. Yeah. Um, and it was something that I had to grow. You know, I learned, I, it didn't last long mm -hmm. um, because I was causing, it was causing confusion mm -hmm. within my own spirit. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, first of all, he's not worth it. These other men ain't worth it. Yeah. Like nobody's, and it would be the ones that like, I could just sit down and at the foot of their bed and like, they would really give me good advice Yeah. that, I tended to just draw nearer to and that put in to, that it reminded me that Crystal like you're worth more than this yeah. like you don't have to do that you know you know what's interesting I was having a conversation with somebody and they were talking about how women are naturally monogamous mm -hmm. and that when women step out in their relationships it's it's um not revenge but it's they retaliate it's a, it was a retaliation you know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. it's like like you said I want you to feel what I'm feeling yes. but men are wired completely different where yeah. they can love you to death sleep with this one over here and, not, and come back to you and not even think about her tomorrow literally at all. and it's like it, it took a long time for me to realize that because even like having conversations with my dad now that I'm older mm -hmm. he's like that's how men are wired yep and it's interesting that that was your sexual liberation, which it, it harmed you in a way because it was like, you weren't really that girl. No. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so for me, like the way I started my whole phase was like, I was sexually abused. Oh my gosh. Yeah, not by any family or relatives or mm -hmm. anybody. Yeah. But like I was, I had um, older boyfriends mm -hmm. and I was really young and I was always that girl who, mm -hmm. who older guys liked. And mm -hmm. I used to think like, oh, it's because, you know, I'm grown and this, this and that. It's like, no, you're, you're young yeah. and you're easy to manipulate. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? And I had daddy issues growing up mm -hmm. where like my dad and like I have a great uh, relationship with my dad now, but my dad wasn't raised in love. He was raised from survival. Wow. So like when he had daughters, mm -hmm. he was just trying to survive and, and make a way for them. It was mm -hmm. never like, he never was like, oh, Jazz, you're doing so great. I love you. I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, he's like my number one fan. Yep. But I had to tell him like, this is how I receive love. Wow. But back then it was just like, you have a roof over your head. How do you not think I don't love you? Mm -hmm, or like mm -hmm. you have, I got you a car at 16. Like, how do you not... How how do you don't yeah. how come you don't feel love? Yeah. But for me, I'm like words of affirmation, physical touch, mm -hmm. quality time, all mm -hmm. the things. And my mom was all those things. Mm -hmm. So like I was closer to my mother because she spoke my love language. Yep. And it took time. So it was like, okay, I never had anyone to tell me I was beautiful or buy me flowers. Mm -hmm. So the first person that did it, yes. I'm like, oh, I'm giving you everything. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yes. so I found myself like down this really dark path of mm -hmm. like just wanting to feel validated. Mm. So it was just this guy, this guy, this mm. guy, this yeah. guy, this guy, this, you know, yeah. the list goes on. And mm -hmm. then they were all older than me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. And I was even in a situation where I dated a guy. And in, in essence, like when I thought about it, I was like, yo, this nigga was like my pimp. Wow. Yeah. So I was just like, I, I loved him. Well, mm -hmm. I didn't love him, girl. I thought I, I, you thought thought I loved him. You were brainwashed. Him. I was brainwashed mm -hmm. because he was doing all the things, mm. you know? And then I realized that he was like, he wasn't very kind to me. He mm. didn't have me in the best situations. Mm. He wasn't considerate of my feelings. And yeah. and this was like early on. I probably he was probably like the third person I had sex with. Because mm -hmm. I remember it was like I lost my virginity to my boyfriend and then and then like I had a random encounter and then he was like the third guy mm -hmm. that I met. Yeah. And then it was like from there it was like yeah. I, I don't want to say I learned everything from him, but it was like, it was abuse though, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. And then prior to him, like I, or no, after him, I still dated older guys. Mm. So it was like, the, it just, it didn't stop. It didn't stop. Yeah. It, it was did, a vicious like, cycle. It was a vicious cycle. Yeah. And then, so now to be in a situation where like, oh my gosh, ah, don't, ah, don't do it. Yes. Ah, Let no, it go. It's fine. No, I know. No, no. <laughs> but to now and to, ooh. Uh. Um, it's in the Kleenex in my bedroom. bedroom. No, <laughs> just in case. now to be yeah. in a situation in a relationship now where I am loved, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. I feel that, and I, I know what it's like for to for somebody to really love you and mm -hmm. care for you and to show you that they care and to be honest with yes, you. Yes, you know what I mean, and mm -hmm. tell me like, babe, like that wasn't love, and I'm like, yes, it was. They were like this. He's like, that no, love. that's not it. Mm -mm. And we would bump heads a lot because he would keep it real with me, being like, and be like. 
I know that you love this person, but that was not love. I'm mm -hmm. telling you that's not love. Wow. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Hopefully I don't need them. Yeah, we'll just keep them there just in case. <laughs> but yeah, so I just found myself just going on and on. And that's why it's like body count. Yeah. Man, give it. It was life. Yes. <laughs> and then on top of that, it's like, are we naming every person that's entered us? Are we, or are we naming everyone that we were connected, connected to? to? Wow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because like, yeah, mm -hmm. I got bodies. Yeah. But like, they didn't care about me. Mm -hmm. I didn't care about them. Yeah. There was no connection there. Mm -hmm. You know? So it's like, the ones that count, mm -hmm. those are the ones that count. Count, yes. You know what I mean? When was the, like, because I, I love that story, um, and we all, every woman has their own walk, and I feel like they all have a phase like that at yeah. some point in their life. What was the point where you felt like, this is real love? Is it the situation you're in now, or is there another point where you're like, this is the first time I felt this is love? Somebody mm. really cares about me, and that you were exposed to that. Well, I think I've always been a lover. So mm -hmm. even with all the abuse and all the things, like, I still wanted love. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, the movie Pursuit of Happiness. It was like yeah. Pursuit of Love. love right? Like, I was just <laughs> looking for that thing. Mm -hmm. So I fell in love with a guy, um, probably like 17, 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Awful. That was my first love. Mm -hmm. Broke my heart. I was still on the prowl, like still looking. I would yes. give myself time and then I would go back out there again. Mm -hmm. You know, so I've, I've been in relationships where I've loved people mm -hmm. and they didn't always love me back the way I love. I feel like I always love the person more. Me too. Yeah, I'm like, me I, too. you know, when I say that to my guy now, I'm like, I just love you more. He was like, you, you can't, you don't know that. You can't say that. Mm -hmm. You know, but I feel like the way my, the way my efforts are set up and the way I am, mm -hmm. it feels like I do. Mm -hmm. I love you more. Mm -hmm. But it's like, that doesn't mean that I actually do. do yeah. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. men are so like, it's very rare if you get someone who is like, who can wholeheartedly just be vulnerable and, yes. and tell you like, mm -hmm. I love, you know, when I see you in the morning, yes. I get, you know, I, I feel tingly. Like they're not going to say yeah, all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and they you, probably do feel it, but they just, but they don't they, know how to say it. Yeah. Cause it's like, they're not wired that they're way. Not. They're, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, what I learned from my dad is love languages and showing love come in other ways than the way I want. Yes. So mm -hmm. it's like the way I receive is obviously physical time, words of affirmation, mm -hmm. touch and all that stuff. Yeah. But some people, their love is like, I got you your favorite snack at the gas station on my way back. Gifts. Or, yeah. Yeah. Or acts. just, yeah. Acts of service, gifts or whatever. Just mm -hmm. like being thoughtful. Yeah. Be like, you know, baking me cookies mm -hmm. or just things that I like or whatever yeah. that is. It's like, it's not always like, Crystal. I love you so much. You're so, so amazing. Yes. It's not always yeah, like it's that. Not. It's just like, I might have stocked up your fridge. Right. I, or, or just I see a need and I meet it. Mm -hmm. Or like the things that you don't even have to ask me for. Right. You know, so just having an open mind of like, there's other ways to receive mm -hmm. love. But yeah. some people are so stubborn. It's like, well, if it ain't how I want it, I don't, he don't, he not doing it. You know what I mean? No, and I feel real. like I see that a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I touched on how... Um... I felt about sex and how I was raised mm -hmm. with very strict parents, um, the fear of God in me. Like, I couldn't date until I was 16. Um, I didn't lose my virginity until I was um, in college. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I was scared. Wow. I was scared. Um, but that's when I just went wild. Mm -hmm. I, like there's a, you know, like I was like, ah! Yeah. Literally, I got a dress on today, so I can't. Yeah. Yesterday, I was back with my legs. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was it like with your childhood that, and how did you look at sex before you started having sex? You know, I, I also grew up in church, mm -hmm. you know, and it was all like abstinence was everywhere, yep. everywhere. But it's like when they tell you not to do something, you're kind of curious about it. Mm -hmm. And then my sister, um, she was like, I was always cute. You know, mm. but all the men wanted my sister. Uh, you know what I mean? So my sister was like, you are she that was, girl. Thank like, you. <laughs> yeah. She was, um, she was dating our neighbor mm -hmm. from across the street who I had a crush on. Oh. Then she started dating another guy I had a crush on. It's like, I, it's like all the guys I liked, she got. And I'm just like, it was you know, Marsha, 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 oh, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> yeah. But then like, I noticed she was different. Mm. After she started having sex. Ooh. Like what did she, you notice? Like, what was the, as a little sister looking her like? Yeah, like, she just was more like, to me, I was like, whoa, like, she's grown up. Mm. And I think that I wanted to be grown. Because mm -hmm. I wanted people to not, stop saying that I was cute. I mm -hmm. wanted people to say, like, you're sexy. Yeah. And I don't know why I wanted to be sexy at, like, 10. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to be sexy. Like, my oldest sister was very sexy. Mm -hmm. And she would bring her boyfriends by the house. I liked everybody's boyfriends. Like my <laughs> sisters, I'd be like, no, I love him. She's like, yes. 
Stop. I used to be in love with all my sister's that boyfriends, is both funny. my sisters. And like nobody ever looked at me like that. Mm-hmm. And I just was like, you know, I started wearing like all the little, you know, the little, I'm from Florida. So yes. we had, so our, the way us ratchet girls were dressed, it was like, it was like ratchet mixed with chonga. Like we oh. were like, we were wear like the little spandex, little bell bottom <laughs> pants, the dark <laughs> lip liner, the wet, crunchy, yes. curly hair. And then, but I might have a, a six piece grill to the, on the bottom. Like, it, like Tony Turner. Yeah. So like, it, it was just, you know, but I always wore like a little something tight mm. or whatever, just because I wanted people to like, look at look me. At you. I didn't want to be cute. I yeah. wanted to be sexy, mm. you know? And I was like, dang, my sister, like, she was just starting to look sexy to me. Yeah. And you, you like know? that. You were like, that's yeah, what I want to do. Yeah. But it wasn't like I was pressed to lose my virginity. Mm-hmm. I was fine with getting finger popped. Like, I was like, hey, this is all right with me. It's like, I didn't, right. and it was so funny. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. I used to date this guy. And I remember saying to him, because I was a virgin, mm-hmm. and I would just let him finger me. Mm-hmm. And I, I remember saying to him, like, I want you to do anything to make me say yes, like to have sex with him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then when I say, if you can get me to say yes, tell me no and see how I react. Oh, wow. Because I wanted How to old see, were you when you said this to Girl, him? all of, what, 15 years old? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I remember, That's like, good. I wanted to know what, like, that feeling of, like, you got to get, no, you have to. Mm-hmm. No, please do it. Right. Like, I wanted to know what that feeling mm-hmm. was. You know, he never did it, though. Oh, he man. never did it. He never wow. did it. I want you to do anything. Yeah, I know. I was like, what? Like, why, why are you even talking like this? No, I used to watch and, a lot then of tell me no. Yeah, he's like, why would I tell you no? Right. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Right. You know? He's never like, what? But it's like, girl, <laughs> come here. But it's like, I remember, like, I was getting finger all the time. So I was like a finger hoe before mm-hmm. I started like having sex. <laughs> like I would sneak out of the house, go down to the park and like I would get picked up and I would mm-hmm. go to the park. And I remember like buying like cute little underwear, some like wet seal and stuff. Yes, I remember my, my first thong was my mom's. Like she forgot it in the dryer <laughs> and I saw it in there. And I took it out, and I had that one thong, and I just kept rewashing it. <laughs> I just was, I was just washing the middle out. <laughs> it's the and just washing out the middle. And that, it was a purple satin <laughs> thong. It was my only thong. I wasn't allowed to wear thongs. I wasn't either. I was gonna ask you that. Like my mom did no, not. I, wasn't I couldn't allowed. wear thongs until I got out of the house. Yeah, so that's why I was. I kept washing it out. Oh wearing, my god! I couldn't put it in regular laundry. I had to hand wash them every day, and wear, and let them air dry like under flat under my pillow, and just put my pillow down. Girl, coochie smell like mildew. That shit ain't dry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but like, I wanted to be sexy. So like, when I started having sex, <laughs> I thought I was going to feel like a woman. Coochie smell like, like mildew. Because you know if you don't let it dry all the way. Yeah, girl. Oh, that's the worst. When like, people like leave yeah. their clothes in the washing machines or, yeah. Yes. And don't let, and then try to throw them in the dryer and it's like, And ooh. then the people who act like they don't, they can't smell like, it. Right. That makes me mad. I'd be like, so you don't smell that your clothes are just sitting in that washing machine for three right. days? You go, and you still gonna put them in the dryer? Yes. Oh my god, so I know that smell. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. Shoot. That's and I, I remember, like, I was in high school, mm-hmm. and um, I had lost my virginity. Or no, I didn't. No, I was a virgin at the time. Mm-hmm. And um, it was a guy I was dating because I had so many like little here and there boyfriends, mm-hmm. and. Um, we said we were gonna be each other's first, like orally. Uh, mm, you know what okay. I mean? And I remember like him going down to me and it was like so bad. Mm. And I never had it done before, so mm. I didn't know. Yeah. But I remember it just being so bad. Yeah. So, so I feel like a part of me was like the quest to find like, why is everybody like sex so much? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, when is it gonna feel good to me? Like, yeah, because it does it in the beginning. You're like, yeah, what you're is just this? like, but everybody likes it. Why? Yeah. What is that? So part of me was like, okay, I'm on a quest to see, mm. you know, when is it gonna feel good? Because yeah. even in my abusive relationship, like, I feel like I, I don't even know if I really enjoyed it. I feel like it was more like. I was so into him. It was like whatever he wanted. Mm-hmm, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it was never. But when I got with someone who made it all about me, it was like, oh, this is different. This is different. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> what was the first time you felt it? Like, or somebody like, what age were you when somebody finally came around and it made you feel like it was just about you? Versus oh my like, gosh. it's about me, me, me. Yeah. I was on the cheerleading team at my school. Mm-hmm. And one of my <laughs> cheer, like one of my like, um, Oh my gosh, what do we call each other? Squad members? Or Squad members. Yeah, like I was a she too. had a yes. yes. She um 
her brother-in-law was it her brother-in-law her god brother mm. her god brother like we were we used to like um do car washes for donations yes. so we can raise money for camp those girl days. Mm-hmm. it ain't nothing but they just out there soliciting us anyways i was on the media and like Kyla, da, da, da. Yeah. and he had came by and he would every now and then just like pull up and pick mm-hmm. her up from school and stuff yeah, and i'd be like, like, who is that? I'm like who is that but obviously he was way older than me yeah and i remember i remember like he had came by and he was like, we're like car wash donation. He was like, no, nah, I don't need my car wash. But he had took some money and he had like put it in like my bathing suit top or something like Kinda that. Kind of hit you with the yes. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. And I remember he had a Dodge neon. <laughs> I remember. It that was place. like a, a slate blue Dodge neon. <laughs> and in his and in his rearview mirror he had handcuffs. And oh. I was like, oh my oh. gosh, like. He's freaky. He was a freak. Yeah, freak I'm in thinking the morning, like, the freak in the whoa, evening. Just like me. Yes. No, I, I didn't know. I didn't know at the time. But I was like, whoa. whoa. And I remember, like, I don't know, not telling my friend mm-hmm. that I liked him. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I don't even know how we even connected, but mm-hmm. we ended up connecting somehow. And he was like the first guy that, like, you know, did all the things. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, whoa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. So I would like, but I. I never wanted to be his girlfriend. Mm. It was just like, no, I like that thing. Like, I'd rather just have sex with you. I don't really want to, like, wow. get to know you. Was he like, did that hurt him or was he? Yes. Because yeah. men get hurt, too. You they know what do. I'm saying? Like, men are like, they do. Yeah. like, wait, what? What do you mean you don't want to be my girl? Yeah, when they're hurt, it hurts worse. Because yes. they're, they're, they're so used to being so strong and prideful yeah. that when somebody penetrates through that system, it's like, whoa. Yeah, like, so- you got to, I let you in and then you hurt me. So it's like, I only liked you for this thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then it's like, he would invite me to go eat or do all the things. Yeah. I'm like, eh, yep. I don't want to. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of, that's messed up. Because he was a really nice, he yeah. was a nice guy. And that's how I feel like some men get ruined. And I'm not saying that you ruined him. But like I ruined when, him. <laughs> I have, when they say are, it. <laughs> yeah, when they're into a woman, um, sometimes if, if they don't get the outcome they want, especially when they pour into you. Oh, yeah. The next woman is going to get it. It's like. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a fact. And that happens with women, too. Because men can, they can definitely ruin, ruin a good woman. Yeah. Where they're like, you know what? I'm not about to do this with anybody else. I'm straight. What's the way someone can ruin you? Ooh. I feel like with you, if they, if they ruin your trust. Oh, definitely. Then everything I'm big, else is Yeah, true. I'm super big you on You can trust. tell. Mm-hmm. I mean, I had to fire um, fire someone because of trust. Mm. I can deal with a lot of things, but if you lie to me, mm. then I can't trust you. But can you handle the truth? Absolutely. Yeah, just let me know what it is. Yeah. But give me the, the respect to tell me the truth where I, so I can make a decision mm-hmm. versus lying to me and then let me find out the truth. Yeah. And then you put me at risk. Yeah. Like, I, I'm like, it's too much. I, I think that... And I think it's dope that you can handle truth because mm-hmm. I think that a lot of women ask for that and they can't they handle can't that. Handle it. So then it's like men are like, OK, if this is what you want, I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. And then they do it. And it's like it's not a safe space. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you told me you get it, this is what you want. I'm giving yeah, it to like, you. Now you're mad at me. I'm being honest. And it's like, see, this is, what, this is why I don't say anything. Yep. So it's like and I feel like that's another reason why a lot of men. Mm-hmm. They're not vulnerable. They're not. Because it's like I tried to do this and you did this mm-hmm. or it's like and it's not worth the risk of you leaving right. so i'm just not gonna mm-hmm. just gonna go back over here i'm not gonna say nothing anymore exactly. but it's like tell me the truth tell me the truth it's like i'm not gonna tell you the truth so you can crucify me i'm mm-hmm. telling you the truth because i owe you that respect right but i, I think that there is that that like gray area of people like I, tell me the truth i can handle it and mm-hmm. it's like no baby you can't. Yeah. Stop asking that man for the truth if you can't. You can't handle, handle it. it. For real. Don't do that. Um, another question. At what point did you realize, because I know for me, we were both raised in a society where like, what you won't do, another woman will. Mm. You better, and everything is so sexually driven. Like, mm. you better be sucking. You better be, uh, you better do it. All yeah. the things. Yeah. Um, because that's what your man needs. At what point were, because I know for me, it was a point in my life where I realized sex wasn't everything mm-hmm. and that um, mm-hmm. I was giving way too much of my soul to people who didn't deserve it. Mm. At what point were you like, you know what? I got to switch some things up. Like I'm giving and just giving my body away. Yeah. Um, adding to the body count. Yeah. And it's not being appreciated or reciprocated in the way that it's feeding my soul. At what point, were, what was there a revelation where you like, okay, yeah, I got to switch some things up so I can get the type of love that I want. You know, it's funny because I think that like 
when I was younger, everybody just wanted sex from me. Mm-hmm. Everyone. Yep. So same. like. I did it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So in my mind, I thought that that's just what you want. I didn't have to do anything else. Mm-hmm. You know, so it wasn't until I started dating this guy. He was a songwriter. Mm-hmm. And um and songwriters I re- are so romantic. They really are. Yeah. They really are. Um and I remember like doing all the sexual things mm-hmm. and him being like, "You know, it's just not always about that." It's not and that. I was just thinking like, "Oh my gosh, what else is there to do?" Mhm. Mhm. Because I thought this is what keeps you. Because that's what we're taught. Yes. Make sure he's satisfied in the bed. (laughs) Yes. And and my entire life, that's all anybody ever wanted from me. Mm. So I never had to be more. Mm -hmm. You Mm -hmm. know? And I feel like that's like women now. It's like they look, like a lot of men look at them like they're objects. So Mm -hmm. they they do all the things to appeal to the the baller or whatever. And then it's like, even after all of that, they still don't want you. And you're like, well, what else do I really have? Mm -hmm. And that was me then. And and I didn't know until a man told me. I saw somebody that said, um, they said, stop taking advice from men from women. You Mm -hmm. need to talk to men about men. But then I word. also feel like there's levels to a man. I can't just talk to everybody. Not every man, yeah. You know what I mean? You got to, only, there's a certain 10%. Yes. That, there's a I mean? certain caliber man you need to get advice from. Exactly. Yeah. But they're like, with women, it's like everything is off of their experience. Mm-hmm. It's like, you're not a man. Yeah. Right? So like, stop taking advice from women about men. Mm-hmm. But I know that in that situation, my advice was from him. It was just like, everything is not always about sex. Yeah. And I remember it was 4th of July, girl. I was so mm-hmm. embarrassed. His best friend was dating one of my friends. Mm-hmm. And I remember it was like, oh, yeah, we reunited. Woo, for the yeah. July. And like we were barbecuing. And I went and made myself a plate and just sat down. And he was just like, wow, damn. Like, that's crazy. He was like, you're not even going to fix my, my plate. plate yeah. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, wow. And he was like, no, 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 don't worry about it. And I was just like, Uh-oh. I didn't know. Are oh, you like, okay. Oh, yeah, but I, I felt bad, though, mm-hmm. because I'm like, I thought we were fine. Yeah. Like, I probably gave you head on a ride here. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's like, no. And I think his issue with me was the fact that I was a hoe. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's just like, don't you do anything else? That's, yeah. But that's all you know. And that's what you lead with. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it was just like, it was like a, oh my gosh. I had an aha moment mm-hmm. where it was like, oh my gosh. Like, mm-hmm. there has to be more. It has to be more. And it wasn't that I, I wasn't that. Because mm-hmm. my mother has always been like the super submissive, mm-hmm. food was always on the table, clean house, mm-hmm. kids are bathed, the whole nine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't that I didn't grow up seeing that, mm-hmm. but it was just that that's not what I thought men wanted. Wow. So I never led with that. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's you know? so good. And I feel like our society and influences had a lot to do with it. Because oh, yeah. I thought the same thing. I thought that's all they wanted was sex. And I thought that was the way to keep a man. Yeah. I did. Yeah. And I was like, I got to... Fi- have to, and I, that's when I started like watching porn to try to figure out like oh, new girl. tricks and other things to do because I I was sheltered. I didn't know yeah. what to do, so I was like, well, I got to figure out some new things, you know. Or when you watch and you're like, they can do that, right? You're like, like, I don't know if I can do that, right? You're like, <laughs> oh no, because it's like it's just an easy place to go to mm-hmm. be intimidated. It's very much, especially if you're young and you're just mm-hmm. you got a new boyfriend and it's like, first of all, why are you trying to swing from the chandelier, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why, why are you doing all of that? Why are you doing all of it? But I, it's crazy because, like, everything that I was taught was mm-hmm. just wrong. It so it's wrong. like having to unlearn things so now that things. I'm in my 30s. Mm-hmm. Like, I have to unlearn that because this mm-hmm. was unhealthy and that doesn't work with this new one. It doesn't. You know what I mean? Or mm-hmm. you try to go in with, like, okay, well, I've dated all these people and I have all the things, but yeah. it's just like, no. throw them out. Yep. Keep keep your co- three things mm-hmm. and everything is not sex. Obviously, yeah. like men are hunters. Like they, they, they need it, mm-hmm. right? They do. But that's, like you said, that's not what's going to keep them. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. like yeah. body can't high, low, whatever. It's, I think it's all, it's all to the person yeah. that, mm-hmm. uh, that you're with. Yeah. Cause it's like, you can be. You can be a girl who's only had sex with one guy, mm-hmm. and that one guy had you upside down over there, flipped you all, had you do all these things. You mm-hmm. only know one person. Mm-hmm. And then you could have a girl who's only had sex with five people mm-hmm. once. Yeah. So it's like, who has more? Exactly. Which one is more of a, I don't want to say hoe. Yeah. But is a hoe like the amount of people or mm-hmm. the things that you've done? Exactly. Right. Because that's the question, too. Like, what is a hoe? Like, 
Is it the amount of people you've had sex with or what you do with the people? And I think society looks at a hoe as like, or you know what I'm saying, they've made it where it's the amount of people you've been with. Yeah. Right. But men can go do everything and they're not a hoe. Yeah. They're just being a man. Yeah, they're just being a man. Women what? aren't supposed to, but why? 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 I know why. We're human too. We Isn't have it? feelings, we have emotions, we have urges. Yeah. But they say women don't. We're not built like that. Mm. We're not built. We're to... emotional creatures. Yeah. So it's like if we find one good one, we like that one. That's all we want. You know. They but sometimes fight. it's five different ones, and you like one thing from all of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that's real. It is real. So it's like you. I think that the girls who are being labeled as hoes are the mm. ones who are like openly like, you know, yes. doing the trips and doing all this and taking mm -hmm. this and that, and they're very upfront about. What, but it's like, but. Why? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why does that make her a hoe? Yeah, she's doing what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. So it makes her a hoe because she's getting flued out and she's accepting gifts and trips. They offer that. <laughs> so it's like, is she? So you mean to tell me a hoe is somebody who ain't got no discernment? Right, right. So it's like, okay, I take the trip from one guy, mm -hmm. but what if all of them? If this one taking you to the Maldives, that one taking you to Dubai. You ain't never been no. You want to go? You, and I've been there. So it's I didn't like, got flued out. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> but it's like, is a is a is a hoe the lack of discernment wow you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. or is it like or is it sexual liberation to say i'm gonna do whatever i want and why do you care yeah or is it because nothing's private anymore it's definitely because nothing that's a good it's nothing is private anymore right but i do feel like we are getting to a place in society where sexual liberation is more accepted mm -hmm. than it used to be and women are more free with saying, yes, I love to have sex. Yeah. I love to have sex with different men. They're very comfortable with coming out yeah. about that where before they'd be like, I don't want to talk about that. Like, I right. don't even know yeah. what I'm doing. They're going to label me a hoe. Women don't care anymore. They really don't. They do because you care. know why? I think that for a long time, women tried to do the thing. Mm -hmm. And if that didn't work, I'm going to go do what I want to do now. Mm -hmm. You get to a point where you're like, I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah, because it's like, okay, you guys, you want me to... You, you ever saw that video? It was like... um. Act like a lady. Don't do this. Don't eat this. Mm -hmm. Don't no, no. Uh, cross your legs like, when you sit down. Don't wear short skirts. That's mm -hmm. that's gonna entice men. Wear long dresses. Yeah. Do this. And it's just like what? what? And it's literally picking us apart. It is. So it's mm. like if and you know I I know that there's a saying that says before you look outward, go inward. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's like mm -hmm. I could be doing all the things and and I still haven't found my person mm -hmm. or whatever. So now I'm gonna go be free or whatever. And yeah. I feel like. This is the most honest I have ever been in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And this is the most loved I've ever felt in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I love that. You know what I mean? I love and that it's just you. like, he knows. Mm -hmm. he, he, he's, he's like, <laughs> we're two retired thoughts that found love. Ah, you know I what I'm saying? It. Because yeah. it, there's also space for that. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. body count, and at least in my relationship, yeah. that don't matter to us. Yeah. You know what I mean? He like, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. And then I tell him, but we share stories. I'll be like, oh my God, baby, this is one time. <laughs> He was, he was so musty. His balls were so funky. He'd be that like, is the nah. worst. He'd be like, oh. what? Man, that's crazy. And he'd be like, oh, man, I never. I remember one time I was hitting this one girl, and she had a piece of toilet tissue in the back <laughs> in her butt crack. And I was like, did you take it out? And he was like, I just took it out, and I didn't stop. <laughs> but I was just like, oh, y'all. Like, we share stories I like love that. it. You know, where it's just like, I, I remember having to, like, yeah, not like, say too much or mm -hmm. not whatever in my or relationship. Scared too because you're afraid it's gonna run them away or they be like, mm. yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, you lying about your truth doesn't make you an honest person. Wow, you know what I'm saying? That's a nugget. You lying about your truth does not make you an honest person. That's good. Yeah, because it's like, okay, I'm in this relationship mm -hmm. and I'm I'm lying about all the men that I've had sex with, mm -hmm. so he thinks I'm whole. Yeah, but, but that doesn't define my wholeness. Exactly, and that doesn't make me like worthy or an honest person or whatever mm -hmm. it's just like i'm lying to you to to you know but that i'm still that person that's still yes i still have all that baggage i mm -hmm. still have all those bodies and it's made you who you are today yes you're yeah. welcome you like that thing that i did <laughs> you know what i'm saying like yes you ain't gonna ask me where i got it from <laughs> <laughs> please don't ask me where i got it from <laughs> gosh right but it's just like yeah i have to like dim my whole life mm. to make you feel comfortable Wow. I'm not dimming my whole life. Yeah. Period. Yeah. It's like, I'm grown. I'm grown. Mm -hmm. And the, the great part for me is the fact that it was prior social media. Mm -hmm. So now it's your word against mine. Period. Right. Then I can lie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? But I think people just put so much on a body count as if that makes you wholesome or not. Yeah. And that's not fair. That's and not that's fair. That's not true. Mm-hmm. I don't want no wholesome man, and I don't want no low body count man. I I don't either. I I ain't saying I want Will Chamberlain now. (laughs) But, (laughs) but, But, you know what I mean. Yes. I love that you are walking in your truth. Thank you. And I feel like um, that is why you are in in the space that you are in your life. And I feel like if more people just own who they are, the mistakes they've made, I think other people would be more willing to receive it. And you'd be really surprised when you walk in your light and say, hey, this is what I've done, who I've been. You know what I'm saying? People, people that you trust. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like own it and not try to act like you're something that you're not. One, you're going to be more relatable to a lot of people because a lot of people are walking. They're literally walking yes. in, uh, under a costume. Yeah. Of something that, but that they're not. They have a mask on. They're not being true to themselves and wondering why they haven't, you know what I'm saying, gotten further because mm. you're not being honest with who you are. People it's need to see thing. the real you, yeah. you know? So I love that. I love that you're walking in your truth and Thank then I love you. that you found love. Thank you. You know, and that. Girl. Yeah. yeah. I know Me it's hard too, out girl. here. I know. So let's talk about the journey that you realized. Because you made a comment about um, you felt like sex was all you had to offer mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that's all they wanted. Yeah. Um, at what point or what was the journey like where you realized, hey, maybe there are things that besides you talked about how the guy you went to the cookout and, and I, you sat down and didn't he's like but you do know there's more than sex tearing that chicken up in his face he's like uh we're mine right we're it. at what point was that a, a pivotal point and like yeah. at what point did you realize okay and what was that journey like to you realizing i've got to do more than just give my body yeah so it, okay so i remember like i said i grew up seeing that so mm-hmm. it's not that i didn't know yeah but I just didn't think that's what they wanted. Mm-hmm. So I had that epiphany, not epiphany, I had that come to Jesus moment mm-hmm. with my boyfriend at the time. Mm-hmm. And then I found myself trying to just do a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But I'll never forget, I was dating this guy. It's always, I was dating this, this guy. guy right? Yeah, there's this guy. <laughs> um, and he didn't have any food in his fridge. Mm. And he had like just moved to the city. And I was like, okay, he was there for like only a little bit. He was like playing basketball. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. I'm going to go to the grocery store and stuff his fridge up. Mm-hmm. And I remember going to the grocery store, like in the blazing heat mm-hmm. and go and like had a cart. And I went, I, mm-hmm. I even took the cart back from the store and, and lugged it all the way to the house. Yeah. And it was like, this is before Uber and all of that. Mm. So like, I'm on two feet. What they call yeah. it? Tom and Jerry. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> I'm, literally. Yeah. Like I'm literally walking in the blazing heat, mm. pushing a freaking grocery cart from Walmart like, mm-hmm. and I bought him pots and pans, towels, uh, food. Like you are me, and all, I am you. Listen, I'm the same way. Oh all the gosh. things, right? Because I don't want you to ask me if I see it needs to be done. I'm just gonna do it. So I did all the stuff, and I remember, I remember like, I didn't know. I was trying to just do laundry. I remember washing the white towels and the black towels together, oh. and they were new. So you know the white towels turn they're gray. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> they turn gray. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh man, like I really was trying to do all the things. Yeah. And all I wanted us to do was just sit down and have dinner together. But he just did. He was just acting funny. And I was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, I I saw that you didn't have all this stuff. I, I went to the store and I got you all these mm. things and blah blah blah. He was like, I didn't ask you to do that. Wow. I didn't ask you to do that. That's like a slap in the face. Right. And I'm just like. In my mind, it's like, but you needed it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But with him, not having, he didn't have mommy issues. He was the type that was like, I don't want my woman doing that. Wow. So it's like, if I can't do it and you do it, you make me look like I'm less of a man. Wow. Because I should have been the one to fill that fridge That's up it. before you got here. I didn't have a chance to do it. Mm. I didn't express that to you. Because yeah. if he had, I would have waited till he got done with practice. We could have went to the grocery store. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But me just being, I'm a forward thinker. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. before, you know, like my guy has to do anything, I'm always like, okay, so we got to do this. We got to make sure he has this. Oh, wait, I think he's going to need this. Yep. Pack him a snack. Mm-hmm. Like all yes. the things. Like I think before you can even, hey, where's my, it's in there. It's in there. It's already in the car, ready. <laughs> And that's yes. just, that's what works for me because right. I like to be on top of things, mm. especially in my relationship, yeah. which is crazy because I'm like, if I had that same energy in my life, ma'am, anywho, Ain't that conversation. Bring, a, me, bring me back. I, I <laughs> will. Part two. No, but um, <laughs> I thought he was mad at me, like, mm. but it was really that like, I made him feel bad Yeah. and he didn't really know how to deal with feeling, feeling like, like that. He felt, yep. Yeah. And it that's wasn't that he didn't thing. appreciate it. 
but it was like it it really highlighted what he didn't have together before I came in town. Yeah, and that was when he's like, I didn't have time and I should have. Yeah. And now you've done it, now I feel bad because I didn't do it. Yeah, but it's like, just be like, he could have just been like, damn, hey, babe. Thank you, because I've had so much I, going on. I had so much going on. I promise you, it was on my mind. Mm -hmm. I hate that you had to do that, but I'm so grateful. You know, they wasn't talking like that then. They damn sure not talking like that now. They're not. It's hard for people to really express themselves like that, especially mm -hmm. like, when you come into a person's life and you're doing something that they've never experienced. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to handle it. They they don't know what mm -hmm. to do. I say thank you. Do I eat your pussy? Right. Do I like? Well, I don't know what to do. Right. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And I think that I think that with men, at least with the men that I've dealt with, mm -hmm. who have had these kind of conversations with, it's always like, I don't know how to say. Like you're not taught to. You're you're not taught to say like, I don't know how to do something. Mm -hmm. You're always taught to just figure it out. Yep. So, but in the situation where like you might have to say like, I dropped the ball, or you have to have accountability, or say like. I honestly just didn't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know how to do that because yeah. you you weren't taught how to do that. Exactly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so for me, it was like, okay, the body stuff didn't work. Yeah. And then I tried to be thoughtful. That didn't work. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, WTF. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's there. Like, I want it. I feel like I wanted to be that person for mm -hmm. somebody, mm -hmm. especially once I, once I got the game from him saying, mm -hmm. like, it's not all about that. Yes. I tried to, like... I still led with that in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. but then I tried to be like, okay, I'm gonna lead with this so they they can know I'm like this, and but then, then I got, I'm, but, a, I'm like, I'm really gonna kill them when I come yeah, with the domestic side. Yeah, 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 but not everybody, you know. Like I dated a guy who never wanted me to make the bed. He's like, that's what maids do. But do you have a maid, sir? Did he have a maid? It was his auntie. <laughs> <laughs> she came in and cleaned up. No, but, <laughs> not the auntie. But you know, I, so like. It's just different. Mm -hmm. It's like not everybody wants you. It's like they want you to be domesticated, but they don't want. It, but it's like levels to it. It is. And like, some men, there's different levels with different men. Yeah, he's like, I don't want you doing this. Like, that's peasantry. I'm like, is it though? I'm just picking up groceries. Yeah. Like, there's some guys who are just like, I don't want you to lift a finger. And then there's other ones who are like, oh, thank you so much for going to Publix mm -hmm, for me. Mm -hmm. I didn't have time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that my guy now is like, he, he just. Ex he just express not ex what's the word I'm looking for accepts accepts mm -hmm. everything oh, like oh yeah. man you went and got this oh man you got that oh mm -hmm. yeah yes you know oh, that makes I mean? you feel good yes. that you feel appreciated yes. for your efforts yes and I love that. you know but it, it it was definitely a journey mm -hmm. trying to figure that out but yeah. I think it's each person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you see, like, you named different standards that different men had. Like, one guy didn't want you to lift the finger. Other person was like, don't do this. And even in, like, my sex life, it's mm -hmm. like, okay. Like, you know, as a former hoe, like, I had, oh. I love how she says, as a former hoe. As a former hoe. Like, the, you know, like, it's 2023, so mm -hmm. I'm only got one body now. Mm -hmm. but, That's right. You know what I'm saying? But, new year, new me. <laughs> but, you know, new year, new she. <laughs> <laughs> But like even trying to like navigate, like you can't go in there and thinking that everybody gonna like one thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like okay, you got to keep him satisfied. You got to do all this, but it's just like you do this. Oh, he don't like that. Mm -hmm. Then you got to do this, and but like, oh, that one like this, but this one didn't. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, and then it's just like you know, I'm just gonna save this for my husband because this is just this too is much. just getting too ghetto. Too <laughs> ghetto over yeah. here. It's ghetto. <laughs> so ghetto. Let's talk about um, sexual health. Because mm -hmm. I know for me, um, I've definitely had unprotected sex. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to say to me like, oh, I've only used it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. When you see the episodes, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but um, I have, I've, had, um, um, I've had unprotected sex. And like I told you, my mother would always say, getting pregnant is They're not, not the, the worst thing that can happen. And um, I used to always be afraid of that. But... Men would, they always be like, well, it feels better without mm -hmm, a condom. Mm -hmm. So, like, I knew I was supposed to be using a condom. Um, and I wasn't like, let me see your um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. your examination papers and your tests and make yeah. sure that you're negative on everything um, until I got older, you know? Yeah. It wasn't until um, I got older and more responsible mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just understanding that that health literally affects all the other health yeah, that you have going on inside yeah. your body. And the things that people can like give take from one person and give mm -hmm, to you. Mm -hmm. um, has there ever been a situation where you had like any scares or mm -hmm. um, any like where you decided you know what like I got to be more careful because mm -hmm. you know I know we 
had moments in our life where we just free. We want to yeah. whatever our man wants. That's what we want to do. Yeah. You know, if it's yeah. more comfortable and it's more pleasurable for us too. Yeah. Like for me, like condoms, like I have to use certain types of condoms because mm. I like it. Just does not agree with me. Mm. Like it, it's like yeah, like dries up and like you allergic to latex. Yeah, like it's bad. I used to hate when people said that. I'd be mm. like, girl, you just want to do it do raw. raw. <laughs> <laughs> but not really am though. No. What? So yeah. what kind of lamb? I have to use lamb skin. No way. Mm -hmm. So that means you have to provide your own. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have them. Wow. <laughs> lamb. Yeah. Is it better? Yeah. No, I actually like it because it really feels close to the skin. Wow. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. lamb skin. I just had a lamb chop the other day. <laughs> Me too. Wow. Yeah. Um, you know, I've never, it's funny you say that because I've never asked someone like, hey, like, what are your test results or have you gotten tested lately or whatever? Because mm -hmm. I always felt like, oh my gosh, I'm the one who's out here doing all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And if they don't ask me, I'm going to ask them. them. Yeah. Right. And then I've been in relationships where like, I will go get tested mm -hmm. and the guy wouldn't. And he'll be like, we good? And I'm like, like yeah. are you good? No, because no, like, I'm saying, I know I'm good. But he asking, are you good? Like, no, you but good? it's like, if we're having unprotected sex and I go and I'm fine, that he knows he's good. Then he's okay too. Mm. And that's not always the case because right. things can lie dormant in you. Yeah. Because um, yeah. my mom used to always say that too. She was like, just be and just because you test negative doesn't mean it's not in you. So oh my mom gosh, mom. I mean, she was like, fear of God. I was like, good Lord. Because she's mama. like, things can lie dormant in your body for years and then yeah. pop up and you didn't have had sex with all these people. Yeah. And I was like, you're right. So, um, He's like, mom. <laughs> oh, God. But I um, recently was I was um, talking to this guy, and um, we we didn't end up having sex. But he had a scare um, because somebody that he was close to um, ended up getting exposed <gasps> for having herpes. Oh no! And like it broke up his marriage. It was like a, a big deal. Mm -hmm. And um, because he knew he was out in these streets, he was like, yeah. let me go get tested. Yeah. And um, he sent me like we have first started talking. He's like, I just want you to know I'm good. Mm -hmm. So he sent it so I could actually see. And that was the first person who I actually even without mm -hmm. asking had shown me his test results. And I was like, oh wow, well I just got my pap and got everything yeah. tested too. Come so, on, pap. Hey, I just got one that? too left. Yes. <laughs> and I was just telling someone like I started even um, getting my blood drawn because you know yes. a lot of times yes. they don't they don't I test for that every time. Yeah. So I'm like, go ahead and draw the blood and test for all, e all everything, not just what you get in the culture from the vagina sample mm -hmm. and um a lot of people forget that yeah and um and you know what's funny they won't test you for herpes mm -hmm. unless you ask them yep mm -hmm. because it's so funny because like i recently i got my pap mm -hmm. and then i went back because <clears throat> i was trying to find somebody here mm -hmm. and um and i was asking her just about stuff and she was just like you know Typically, we don't test people unless they're having an outbreak. Yeah. Because if not, it can ruin someone's it can ruin someone's day. Yeah. Mm. And she was like, "Yeah, we just don't touch that." I was like, "Well, well ruin you... my day." Let yeah. Me I was know. like, "Can you just do my blood work?" Because because she was like, "Well, what do you want to do blood work for?" Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, "Cause and I that just was need the to know. Like, yeah, that yeah. was the thing." And she's like, "Well, we typically don't like mm -hmm. unless you want me to, then I will." But mm -hmm. I'm like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, I still got a little. <laughs> but like they, they won't. Yeah, they won't. And you know what? I think herpes is like one of the most like statistically like so Common. many people have it. Yes, yeah. and that's probably even why because they're not the testing on, Even if it's just the one on the mouth. Yeah, that one, yeah. Yep, yeah, it's all types of um, mm -hmm. types of it. But like there are so many people that have it. And it's probably because y'all ain't testing people for it yeah. until they have an outbreak. So yeah. A lot of that stuff could probably prevent it if, like us, people, well, people more like us, no, test me for everything. Yeah, do the blood. Sure. Don't yeah. just do the swab from the pap smear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. a real thing. That is a real um, thing. Never had a pregnancy scare. I've been mm -hmm. on birth control for like 20 years. Mm -hmm. Not on it now because I'm like, I'm older now. I'm like, mm -hmm. I want to just see what like happens? I need. Because I remember I, I went to a fertility doctor and I was like, I need to know what these eggs is doing. She's like, you ain't got none. You've been on birth control all this time. Wow. And I was wow. like, what? what? She's like, you have to be off of it. For a certain amount of time. For your body to actually produce them. I did not know that. Right. I was today years old to know that like birth control stopped the eggs. Yes. She was like, so you won't know until... Like, so I only had sense though. Yeah. So she yeah. was like, it suppresses you from ovulating. So like you won't have eggs. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? So she was like, get off the pill, mm -hmm. see how your body does in a couple months and then go see a fertility doctor mm -hmm. and just check your count. Yeah. And then once you do at your age, mm -hmm. they try to make it seem like it's high risk. Child, I see people getting pregnant at mm -hmm. 40 years old. Yes. Don't, don't play with me. And they're like, yeah. um, because I'm considered high risk now because mm -hmm. I'm in my thirties. Mm -hmm. Um, that I need to freeze them. Yep, yep. That I'm at that space. Ticket. It's so expensive. I have a lot of friends that have it's done like, what, it. It's like what, like $10,000 a year? Yeah, for just to rent the space to store the eggs. And that doesn't, it's like twenty or 30000 to do the whole process. And then you have to pay rent for the eggs. 
So your, I gotta pay rent with. I gotta pay rent in my house. Rent on my and house. And rent for my ex. And rent for the the future children. Yes. Shout. <laughs> nope. It's a real thing. It's a real thing, and that's something I'm going through as well. Um, just as I just turned forty and not being in a relationship, wondering like, is that still in the cards for me? Mm. Can I even still have children? Um, Are so, you on the pill? No, mm -mm, but I ain't having sex either. Yeah. You saw my post where yeah. he was yeah. like, yeah, I was like, I'm DD. And then I was getting to, I ain't having no sex. <laughs> Y'all, it's a drought. No, I'm not having no. sex. So like, I just. Well, go see your fertility doctor. Yeah, that. I did get my um, levels checked. The hormone level that lets you know if you're still like producing eggs at a high rate. And there, it's very high from our age. From our age. Really? Mm -hmm. Where'd you go? I go? Actually, my, uh, I go to the healthy woman. Um, that's my, where my doctor is, mm -hmm. and um, she she checked at all the levels because I was wanting to know before I went to a fertility doctor. I was like, can you just is there something that you can do to oh, let me know? Oh, so there's oh there's levels to it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that I'm was included in my pap. She did that when I did my pap, mm -hmm. and I checked for like fibroids and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Fibroids. Yeah, I have one. Do but you? She said it's just. She's like honestly, it's 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 just it's. She's like it's so small. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even worried about okay. worry about it. But it's just like. Cause she was doing my pap and she was like, hmm, I think I, let me give you an ultrasound. And mm -hmm. I was like, and then she showed it to me and it was so tiny. And she's like, but I'm thinking like, how did you feel, feel that? that? Yeah. But if you're trained to do that. Yeah. You know what? To, yeah. Feel but, um, no, never been pregnant before. Um, never had any real scares outside of like the first time experiencing BV. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I thought, listen. And that was in, during that phase where like, um, it's too many Yes. People yes. coming because up in there. When your pH gets thrown off. <laughs> yes. Like it's a real thing. I was like, oh my gosh, I, what do I do? I don't know. I can't tell my mom. Mm -hmm. So my oldest sister took me to Planned Parenthood, mm -hmm. girl. Mm -hmm. One time I was playing well with that whipped cream, girl. <laughs> and that whipped cream, and that bacteria did not sit did not well. Not sit well. Because yeah. I was like, if you've never had BV, which is bacteria vaginosis, mm -hmm. it is like it's a real thing. It stinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Call a spade a spade. Yeah, it's, it's funky. It's funky. <laughs> and you'll be like, internal. you yeah. be like, because I'm the type of person, like, I always smell my panties when I pee, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. And like, I always, yes. you know? So I remember it's just like, it's strong. Mm -hmm. And the longer you wait, oh, uh, uh The worse it gets. Yeah. I remember going to Planned Parenthood and then they, you know, I ended up being a, a BV and I was just like, what is that? Am yeah. I going to die? Right. And she's like, no, girl. It's yeah. just a bacteria infection. Your pH is all here. Yeah. Here, take these pills and you're fine. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, what? Mm -hmm. But yeah, just not being educated to know, yeah. like, what these things mean, like, different symptoms. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember for my first time having a UTI. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh. See, I've never experienced that. With my, I, have, I know a lot of friends have had UTIs and I'm like, I don't never want because it sounds so painful. Oh, it's so painful. It oh. was to the point where it's like, I was peeing like every 10 seconds. At this point, I put on an overnight pad. I said, I'm not playing with you today. I was just pissing and going. <laughs> I was just pissing and going. I had things to do. You think I'm going to stop and go pee every time? I got this overnight pad on. I'm just going to piss these little three drops and get on with my business. I got things to do. I can't keep, <laughs> I can't keep going. Oh my But I gosh. will tell you for all my homeopathic people, Apple cider vinegar, mm. apple cider vinegar, put it in water. That will like, mm -hmm. that'll help you pee more. Yeah. And then okay. azo pills. Cause I was like, I need anything. Mm -hmm. I was like, it was around Thanksgiving. I was Ooh. like, I had that diaper on girl. <laughs> I was like, I can't, yeah, I got, I got to cook. I can't keep excusing myself to the bathroom. <laughs> Wash my hands off. My hands are raw. I'm making yes. chicken. It's too much going on. I had a diaper on girl. I ain't even, <laughs> I'm not playing with you today. You. <laughs> Listen. So I'm not going to pee for these three drops. Right. Diaper. That is hysterical. <laughs> oh. It's the truth. Yeah, time to play with I love it. it. But it's like, and then women should know their bodies too. Mm -hmm. Like, know what like, you know, like just that, like you're peeing frequently or whatever yes. and it's coming What out. does it look like? Is it clear? Is it super yellow? Like yes, the color means something. all those something. things. Even like down to like your discharge, like mm -hmm. the texture of it. And the, the color. The color. The smell. The smell mm -hmm. Like knowing what all that stuff means. Yes. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I know that like different people are like have different textures. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I got my pap smear, mm -hmm. I'm asking her, I'm like, is everything cool? And she was like, and she was like talking about my texture. And she, <laughs> she was like, she was like, yep, it's nice and milky. Yeah. Nice, healthy vagina. Yep. I was just like, <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh, thinking about all the times I was called Milk Marie. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, freaking ice cream truck. <laughs> but Milk Marie. Yeah, but like, you know, just knowing, mm -hmm. like, it, it, like, there's different shades of normal. Yes. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Of like, yours can be like this, and like, mm -hmm. yours is like this. And then, and then also having like 
girlfriends to yeah. talk to. Yeah. And I remember like I've always had like a space of girlfriends where we always talked about yeah. like pH and mm-hmm. sex mm-hmm. and vaginas and, and what yeah. they looked like. I remember being a, I was a cheerleader, mm-hmm. like all of all of the girls was bottom bottom down like showing everyone was showing their privates like mm-hmm. not in a like kind of yeah. way we were just like oh this is how mine looks and yeah like, oh this is what mine looks like oh yours looks like mine mm-hmm. and like everybody was just like we weren't taught like okay there's so many different variations of, of the vagina yeah yeah mm-hmm. or the vulva the vulva you, you know oh, I mean? yes and it's like they all kind of look different but mm-hmm. the same but not yep. and you know and i remember like it was like 16 of us on the squad and mm-hmm. it was like 16 different ones yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. and, and that's another thing and i think that it's so funny because like men i remember i was doing interviews on like um south beach this was forever ago and i had like a little flip camera and i was interviewing someone and it's like you know like there's like the in ear Audi, whatever yes. right mm-hmm. i remember asking someone I was like, any or Audi? And he was like, any. And I was like, why? And he was like, because if you, you the Audi, it just makes you feel like they've just, they've had a lot of sex like been and, and it's been ran through. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, that's not what that means. Mm-hmm. Like, look at porn stars. Yeah, th- that's what I was about to say. Now I've seen some raggedy looking vagina. <laughs> no, I done seen some, not raggedy. I, like, I done seen some raggedy ones too. And I'm like, is that because you had a baby or is that too much sex and the vagina no, just, just been had, ran through? That's just how it looked. Yeah. So some of them really look some like of them were just raggedy like oh, that. Thank you, Lord. I don't want to call them raggedy. No, some of them like, things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I can't. I'm like, next, find yeah. a different video. Yeah, but I mean, like, there's diff- there's different variations. Yeah. I can only imagine with men. At least you know some guys are like, they not even looking at it. They're they just putting their dick in there. As long as it feels good when we get. Yeah, in they're there. not looking at it. It's just like I'm not like the men. Like a lot of men are not going down on every yeah. girl that they have sex that's with. That's true, too. So they don't even know what one really looks, looks like, like unless they they're in a relationship. So like, oh, this is what all of them look like. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. but it's like, and you hit it from the back, you don't even see it. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then you see one that's different, and you're just like, wait a minute. Right. Or it's like, you're like, hold on. But, I mean, that's just, that's just. Yeah. And that's the same being. thing with dicks. Like, they're all different. So you think everything is all different. If everybody had the same everything, it yes, would be that's true. a very boring world. That's true. They mm-hmm. are all different. <laughs> oh, child. Yes. Horror story. So there's some raggedy ones, too. Ma'am, some raggedy <laughs> ones. Raggedy balls. Long ones. Oh, my gosh. It's the one. <laughs> like, what the heck? You got two, two oh. heavy rocks and a pillowcase that just Listen. hang. All right, mm. let me not. We love y'all. We don't, don't want to dog you out. So let's talk about, let's give them some, some advice on how to be better sexual partners. Okay. Um, Starting I, with the men? Yeah, start with the okay. men. I feel like men, um, pay attention mm, when you're yeah. doing things to your yeah. woman's reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of times, like, when you're doing things, the way I react, you know what? That's a lot because sometimes I be faking. <gasps> That's so a real know, thing. You know faking it is a real faking thing. Faking it is a real thing, so I don't know. If, when do you get to a point where you stop? It's like, you know what? You're just not doing it. You're not <laughs> performing, bro. Get up. Get up. Um... But there are women that can that may be honest and like, hey, babe, like, or try to, they push in your head one way or like, mm-hmm. do it like this or right here. Mm-hmm. Listen and take direction. Yeah. I feel like that's a good tip. What do you think? What one yeah, is? no, it is. And I think that it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you're such, you're not like, right there, damn. <laughs> you're just like, you, if you're doing it in the moment, I'm not about to moan on here. Yeah, yeah. But if you're doing it in the moment, <laughs> yeah. then like, it's, it becomes like sexy. Yes. But yeah, definitely paying attention to the body mm-hmm. and and the and and her how she reacts. Not even just how the moan sound, but what the vagina's doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because the vagina it talks back to you. She she gonna talk back. Now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like just paying attention to those things, mm-hmm. and then also like women, I think take a, a longer time to warm up. A man can just have a an erection and be yes, ready to go. Like yes. women, you really got to rev the engine. You do. You know what I mean? So spend a little bit more time with foreplay. Yes, you know I mean? like that. That's yeah, good. Yeah, spend a little bit more time. Whatever it is, whether she like to kiss or mm-hmm. get finger pop. <laughs> 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 whatever it is, like just spend more time in the foreplay and the talking. Mm-hmm. If you guys like, if you do like to talk or whatever. Yeah. I saw something recently where a woman was like, during sex, she likes to say positive affirmations to her person wow and like i've actually done that where we prayed mm-hmm. together and mm-hmm. it, it made the experience like oh wow. we just felt like mm-hmm. oh wow like yeah. we are anointed and it's yes. like we haven't sex before marriage but <laughs> i know god is here <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then women, I think that, you know, the mistake that I made mm -hmm. is like trying to do all the things that the other one likes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, because every man is different. Everyone is different. Mm -hmm. So treat each person like a new person and mm -hmm. not like, you could come with your bag of tricks. Yeah. And don't be surprised if all of them don't work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that part. There's, there are certain things that, will most likely work because I feel mm -hmm. like men are pretty simple. Yeah. But then also, don't be afraid to ask. That's what I was going to say. Be, don't be afraid to have those sex conversations. Like I feel like that's how you really get to know the person likes. Be free. I'm like, so what do you like? Yeah. You like it when somebody eats your booty or, but, or do you not like it? But it's also... You know? it, but, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> So what you like? You like, somebody eat you you like your booty ate? Like, oh uh, am I supposed to say yes right now? <laughs> I think it takes it takes more of an edge off if you're asking in the moment. Yeah. Where it's just like you don't have to say, tell me what to do. Mm -mm. You could just be like, I want to do whatever you mm -hmm. want me to do. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Guide me or whatever. Way, Jesse, I want yeah. okay, whatever you, you know what whatever saying? you like. Have your way. Yes. Like whatever like whatever that that mm -hmm. talk is, yeah. they'll tell you. And yeah. if they start pushing your head past the gooch, he wants his booty girl. That's your answer right there. He ain't tell you when you ask him on the date. He told you. <laughs> Seriously, like some Yo, people I'm get dead. uncomfortable, but like when you're like in that moment, moment of arousal, mm. it's like it's like pushing down, like keep going. Yeah, you're like, you know, okay. Like Dion Cole, he was like, I don't tell women when their head is bad. He was like, I'll just plug their nose, <laughs> and that'll make them stop <laughs> because they can't breathe. I'm done. He's like, you just go and just plug their nose. I'll scream. I was like, yeah. Dion Cole is a fool. That's yeah. good. Oh my gosh. Jesse, I really Aww. enjoyed you. This Thank has been you. a great conversation. Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy we did this. Um, we're going to get to one of my favorite parts of the show. It's called Positive Outcomes. Okay. And this is where our listeners write into us and we're going to give them advice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh so this gosh. is going to be fun. Y'all don't want advice from me. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, this one says Hi, Crystal. I need some advice. I've been on and off with this guy since 2016. In 2021, he moved in with me, but the whole time he was dating Uh-uh. Are you me? The whole time he was dating someone else. I had a situation like this. The whole time he was dating someone else. I know this because he called me her name and he would run and leave the room to answer the phone. Ooh, girl. Some days he came into the house and we wouldn't speak. We didn't have a sex life. He claims it wasn't happening because he he claims it wasn't happening because I didn't initiate it. He would take food and drinks out of the house to the other woman's home for her to cook. Trifling. Oh my gosh. So I put him out and changed the locks. Come to find out through my job, I have been able to see he had a baby with this other woman, which he denies, but I saw his name on the birth certificate. Oh, so you work for the FBI. You work for the, the FBI. <laughs> Um, he is now trying to come back and get a key to my home. I don't know what to do because I still do love him, but I don't want to get hurt again. What should I do? Keep them doors, them locks the same and do not give him the key. Throw it away to I your heart. I can't believe and this is a real story. This is a real story. What, in the Lifetime movie? <laughs> Girl, you don't know what to do. You know what to do. Yes, you do know what to do. You do know what to do. Run. Do not let him back in. Tell him to go on where he came from with other First girls. of all, he sound broke. It's giving broke dick energy. It's, it's giving broke dick energy. Mm -hmm. And it's giving broke bitch energy, too, yeah, from her. Both so if you got to steal the soda pops from my fridge and bring them on down to her. And my food. So I'm, I'm feeding you, her, and the baby. Yep. Mm. Now he was stealing snacks when she was pregnant. She was probably already pregnant at the time. And then they weren't having sex because she was, she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. But you living with me. And you know, a lot of mm -hmm. men do that. Mm -hmm. They'll prey on, on women who will let me stay there. And they'll stay there. They'll drop off a couple scraps of dick yep. every now and then. <laughs> and that's why, just, that's why she brought him back. Because yes, the dick just was to, good. Just to like, you know, yeah. keep you at bay. Mm -hmm. And they're still doing what they want to do. But, but but like, I can even tell like, oh, we moved in together. That I, I knew she was paying the bill. Yep. Because mm -hmm. it's given... You moved in with me. Me. Yep, that's exactly. He did. He moved in Baby, with me. Baby, it time. sounds like you was just a place to stay while he figured things out with home, girl. Mm. Listen, wish them well. Hell, even you can send a baby a gift. But no, uh-uh. No. no. We're not doing that, No, sis. no, mm -mm. no. We not. No. That's low frequency. Yeah. That is a low vibrational relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we are elevated higher than that, past that. Yeah. Let it go, sweetheart. What's his Instagram? I yeah, want to see a baby. 
I want to see what he look like. I want to see what that bitch look like. Right. I don't think you know, I don't know her. I'm not gonna call her that. Yeah. But she trifling for for if you knew if she knew you was doing that. Yeah, she is trifling. If she knew he was in there, but you know niggas lie. They do. So that's, she may not have known. A lot of times we don't even know what they're doing. That's a, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. Maybe she couldn't handle the truth. Ooh, we talked about it. Can you handle it? Right. Mm. Okay. Bless so your yeah. Heart. The consensus is leave him alone. Yes. And vibrate higher, sweetheart. Yes. For sure. Okay, so Whew, what child. I'm going through versus what I'm growing through. Mm-hmm. And um, I feel like in this season in my life, I am going through a drought because I ain't getting none. Um, but I'm growing through understanding that in these moments, I'm learning so much about myself mm-hmm. and what I, what I like, what I don't like. Mm. Um, in this season of what may look like loneliness, mm. I'm, I'm learning so much about crystals so that when the next person does come, I'm going to be so clear on a lot of things. Yeah. So that's what I'm going through and what I'm growing through. What about I love you? that. Okay. Okay. What I'm going through is just trying to find that balance between my career and my relationship mm-hmm. because I am like super, like I'm a stepmom, I'm mm-hmm. a girlfriend. Like I like I'm a life partner. Mm-hmm. I'm like a, a helpmate, mm-hmm. but I'm also a career woman. I'm yeah. also an actress, a comedian, a mm-hmm. writer. Yes. Like I do all the things. Mm-hmm. But I notice that like in my relationship, it, I feel so much joy mm-hmm. when like everyone is taken care of and the house is clean and the kids are fed and mm-hmm. they're happy and homework is done yes. and they bath they took their bath already and my man is happy mm-hmm. and he ate and everybody's mm-hmm. good and I'm just sitting back and I because I don't even sit down and eat anymore child yeah. I eat in the kitchen as I you're just, making it yeah mm-hmm. like I just will stand up and be in that corner and be Aww. like ha oh, look at the peace that I've created and it's oh. just such a I find so much fulfillment in that mm. But also it's like, okay, I'm still a boss. I'm still a this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's what I'm going through is that balance. Yes. Because like I think that because I've always been a lover, we talked about mm-hmm. my love journey. Mm-hmm. So now being in a space where like I get to be like this, I, I'm like, I'm really in it. You are. You know what I mean? So then it's just I like it. okay, I've done the whole strong, independent black woman who don't need no man yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. And I don't I'm not I don't like that girl. You want the soft life. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and I, it, I, it feels very soft. Me. Yeah. Yes, it's silky soft. I, lo- I can see it. You know, you, but but still, like I have to find that balance to do it all. Yeah. Because I'll be like doing all the stuff for the kids, and mm. then boom, I got interviews, I got meetings, I got Zoom calls, I got this, this, yes. and that, and then I find myself saying, "Well, I'm only free this week from this time to this time because mm. I got to pick up babies from school and do all this," mm-hmm. and it's like that balance is yeah. real it and i'm is just real. really trying to learn that dance especially mm-hmm. now that like i'm touring now i mean yes. i'm only i'm only visiting a couple cities mm-hmm. because you know film life and all that stuff mm-hmm. so i'm you just like busy. okay right so mm-hmm. it's like but how do i i th- i think what i'm going through is like i always i f- i find it very hard to like treat myself as good as i treat other people mm. and it's not that i don't treat myself good because baby i bees mm-hmm. at the spa <laughs> Okay, you and do I, be at the spot, and I bees at the, the Sephora, getting myself anything that I want <laughs> pertaining to beauty and hair yes. and all the stuff that I love, mm-hmm. and I love, and I take my bubble baths and yeah. I do those things, mm-hmm. but I be going all out. Yeah, for everybody. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And maybe I'm just okay with that. Mm-hmm. And some mm-hmm. people are like, well, you got, you better be doing all this if, if this isn't this, and I'm just like. I'm I'm really I I'm really happy, but I I I do feel like I could keep that same energy though. Mm, you know what I mean? Yep. With the way I handle, make sure his flights are booked and he got all his things mm-hmm. that I could cross my T's and dot my eyes mm-hmm. with the things that I need. Okay. To do. Yes, I still I you know I still got to get this logo made. Mm-hmm, I, I mm-hmm. haven't caught up on not, that email. I still need to handle this. I still need to follow up with this. Yeah. but let it be his. And it's funny he had to say it to me. Mm. He's like, babe, like you're so talented. You're so this. Like he really wants me to start a YouTube. Oh. He's like, you got, like I'm just telling you da 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 da. And he was like, and I know you can do it. Wow. And he's like, because if I asked you to and he had and he didn't do it, me you would. Oh. Uh, and I was like, makes me want to cry. Because women, we do that. We pour into everybody around us, and we um, wow. I love how he put that. Because if I, I asked you to do it, you would do it. Wow. And I felt like crap. I was mm. like, oh my gosh, that's so true. Yeah. 
And I was like, dang, I got to pull up for myself till I pull up for everybody else. But what does that even look like? Because mm-hmm. when I pull up for me, it's like, it's in a major way. Mm-hmm. I ain't got you time do. to to do all this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like, what is that dance? Yeah. And maybe I need Help. to talk to Kadeen. Shit. Yeah. Cause right. Because like, she's got a lot of yeah. Yeah, moving parts. But like, what? I don't know mm-hmm. that. But she bad. has help. You got to get help. That's you got to have a team. That's true. That's, yeah. that's also true. That's mm-hmm. also true. That's also true. Mm-hmm. You can't do it by yourself. Yeah. And I think yeah. the thing is, it's like if I see that I can, I will. Mm-hmm. You know. And if yes. people come in and help, thank you so much. Yeah. But I was gonna do this myself. Anyway. Period. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? And I have to do better with like delegating for help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, delegating and mm-hmm. and not having to. I don't have to say yes all the time. If I can do it, do it. Yep. But if I can't. I'm okay, sorry, I'm babe. Sorry. I, really, I really can't even do well, that thank right you for now. doing this. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you for coming over uh, here. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. oh, I know you are so busy. He out of town. Okay. <laughs> that if he was here, no, I might not be no, here. No, no, no. I still, I I still would have done it because <laughs> I just adore you. Thanks. But so I guess what I'm going through is what I'm growing through. Yeah, I love that. That's you know, good. I'm still trying to mm-hmm. learn that dance. Yeah, I love that. So let's do um, Keep It Blank, Sweetie. Um, pertaining to this episode, Ooh, we've touched on so many things. Um, I go first? Mm, you can go first. I'm still because I'm thinking. Okay. Keep it real, sweetie. <laughs> Stop lying. Yes. I'm trying to suppress who you really are mm. to 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 stroke somebody's ego is not you. Because yeah. sooner or later, you're going to find out. Mm-hmm. You're like a finger in your butt. <laughs> you know? So just be... <laughs> Be honest about who you are, and the ones that are worthwhile will stay, and they the will ones stay. and the ones that aren't will get out the way early. Mm-hmm. And regardless if it's the one that you think is supposed to be there, yeah. he not because if they can't ex- like because then the whole relationship will be a lie, mm-hmm. and you never want to base your a relationship on a lie. You want your foundation to always be honesty and truthful and realness and authenticity. That's so, so keep real. it real. Keep sweetie. it real. Ooh, that's hard on the top. Because the thing I, that was my takeaway from this is like just keep it honest because yeah. the right person is gonna be okay with everything. Yeah. Um, keep it. Mm. Trying to see how I can put this in one word. Because mm. we talked about like looking at where you are now and not the past. Mm-hmm, mm. So I guess keep it present, sweetie, and know that like who mm, you are now is mm, not mm, who mm, you were oh, before. Oh, yeah, I love that. I love that. Um, and stop harboring on the past and thinking, oh, I've done all these things. Nobody's ever going to love me, and I can't be honest with someone about it. Keep it real with somebody that um, about who I've been in my past and understand that everything that you've done it has made you the beautiful being that you are today. So, yeah, I would say keep it present and be in the present moment. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. That's so good. Thank you so much. I love you. I love, love you. you too. This is good. This is really oh good. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you so much. And thank oh, you guys so much yes. for tuning in yes. to Keep It Positive, sweetie. And if you want to write in, please write in to Keep It Positive, sweetie at gmail.com. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Follow me on all platforms at love, L U V, Crystal Renee, and Jazzy. Tell us where they can follow you and what you got going on. Because I know you got a lot of things. Oh going my on. gosh! Well, I don't know when this is gonna air, but hopefully it's before my tour is <laughs> over. Um, you can follow me at Watch Jazzy, and you can also follow me at Toya Turn Up, Toya underscore Turn Up, and we have a, a little, probably like six city tour we're doing, and. The link is in my bio for all my tour dates. Yes. Catch her on Zatima. Oh, catch me on Zatima season one and two. And two. And all sisters. Deja She's and everywhere. sisters. <laughs> yep. And just stay tuned for all the projects that I have going on. Yeah. A lot of great things that you I have can't talk up. about right. because it's legal. Right. Exactly. But yeah, keep an <laughs> eye out for this one. She is definitely one to watch. Thank you. If you're not up on her, get up on her. She will definitely brighten your day. Follow her on Instagram. And we will see you next time. But in the meantime, you guys know what to do. Keep it positive, sweetie. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.